This is an above ground fiberglass spa, very common. Uh, there's a filter in there that needs to be cleaned periodically. And the manufacturer recommends draining the spa every 90 days or so. And we can use a standard test kit to test the water. As you can see, the pH is a little bit high, which is okay um, because the acid demand is low again, like I said. If you were to add pH down, it would lower it really quick. And again, I like to keep the pH higher than lower in these fiberglass spas to avoid any kind of skin irritation. And these are the chemicals you're going to probably need for your thing. I use bromine instead of chlorine. Bromine works much better in an enclosed area. Uh, you won't have that chemical smell that the chlorine produces. And you may need some pH up to raise the pH. Since the acid demand in fiberglass is low, your pH has a tendency to drop. And pH down, which you probably won't need to use much. I'd rather have the pH higher than lower to avoid the burning skin, the burning of the eyes. It's a four pound um, container of bromine tablets, and I'll show you how I add them to the floater. So they keep this spot at 100 degrees every day. So I'm going to put four bromine tablets in there. And that should keep the sanitizer level high enough as a week goes on. You can also want to test the alkalinity every couple weeks to make sure that it's not too low. 